The PDB Arts Project is an outreach initiative involving eight schools, two art societies and the Protein Data Bank in Europe. We work together to inspire school students from 13 to 17 years old to learn about the 3D molecular structures in the PDB and use these to inspire the creation of artworks as part of their art curriculum. Students learn to explore and research their protein of interest to create artworks accompanied by scientific descriptions, which are showcased in this exhibition. This tour will introduce you to some of these artworks created in this year's project and discuss some of the themes covered by these pieces. Students from the Lower Sixth Form at Stephen Peirce Foundation each picked their own topic to research, relating to protein structures. Here, Olivia Jinx looked into the shapes of proteins to study their secondary and tertiary structure and found inspiration in keratin. This is a fibrous structural protein found in many biological structures, including hair and nails. Olivia uses her portrait to represent the structures of keratin as part of her hair. Megan Grenfell found inspiration for her textiles artwork, Catalyst for Change, from the enzyme helicase that she was studying as part of her biology lessons. The 3D structure enabled her to visualise the unwinding event of the DNA double helix that is required for several biological processes, including DNA replication, transcription and translation. Megan also draws parallels between this process and our own emotional unravelling in the face of change, and how it reflects our personal unwinding or struggle in the face of growth and change. Students from Impington College, aged 13 to 14, explored a number of proteins as part of the PDB Art Project. The final pieces created by the students are 3D sculptures using mixed media, including wire, model rock, fancy film and tissue paper. Though the artworks are varied in style and based on different proteins, students created shapes inspired by common protein structure themes, such as alpha helices, and viral capsids. This piece by Lilu Brock is a sculpture of a bacteriophage, a type of virus that infects and kills bacteria. In fact, the word bacteriophage literally means bacteria eater. Just like other viruses, Bacteriophages are composed of a DNA or RNA genome surrounded by a protein coat, with a long tail tube through which the DNA or RNA is injected into the host cell. Lilu has taken the iconic shape of the bacteriophage and personified it by adding a top hat and a monocle. In this artwork, the structure of haemoglobin has been created using Lego bricks by David Rickards, a Year 10 student from Thomas Gainsborough School. The choice of Lego provides a good analogy for the construction of protein structures. Just as Lego pieces are assembled to construct a meaningful object, proteins' amino acid building blocks are ordered and arranged in a specific way to determine the protein structure. David says that these Lego bricks also represent the coming together and building of our knowledge of these tiny yet significant structures. This year saw the first involvement of an international school in the project, with Viewbank College from Melbourne, Australia providing artworks for the exhibition. This was possible thanks to collaboration with Dr Anisha Patel, a structural biologist at the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute of Medical Research, who uses cutting-edge imaging technologies to capture the inner beauty of molecules that make up life at a nanoscale. Anisha introduced Year 11 students from Viewback College 
to protein structures and the PDB, inspiring them to create the unique and varied artworks seen here. This artwork by Charlotte Agnew from Viewbank College focuses on serotonin receptors and their relationship with mental health. Serotonin in the brain is thought to regulate anxiety, happiness and mood, with low levels of serotonin associated with depression. Charlotte's artwork uses bold colours with the warm reds representing happiness, while the cooler blues represent depression. The artwork also incorporates protein alpha helices to highlight the importance of serotonin receptors in modulating these moods. This artwork, made entirely from metal wire, was created by 14-year-old Rosie Bray from Thomas Gainsborough School. Rosie looked at a protein from the horse spot fly and was fascinated with the symmetry and intricacy of both the protein structure and the wings of the fly. Symmetry in biology is observed in a variety of organisms, including plants, animals, viruses and bacteria, and is commonly observed in the tiny structures of proteins. She uses the empty space in the piece to represent how she would imagine the human body without proteins, describing it as a dull, hollow, lifeless carcass, highlighting the importance of proteins in life. At the Perth School in Cambridge, teachers from both the Arts and Science departments collaborated together on the PDB Art Project last year. As part of their science curriculum, Year 9 students learnt about the biology and structures of three proteins haemoglobin, keratin and salivary amylase. The students used this knowledge and their exploration of the PDB archive in creation of these fantastic ceramic artworks in their art lessons. The sculptures incorporate various structures from the biology of these proteins, including red blood cells, long keratin fibres and both protein and DNA helices. Year 12 student Anna from the Lee School was inspired by the structural proteins that provide support in our bodies, including collagen. Collagen is the most abundant structural protein in our bones, tendons, ligaments and skin. Anna has taken images of the chemical structure of collagen, as well as the bones of the human rib cage, and used them to create this screen print. The rib and collagen structure are both in white mirroring the white bones of the human body and allowing the images to stand out against the darker coloured background. This artwork from Year 12 Lee's student Esther Robson is based on her research into photosensitive epilepsy. Although not a common condition, it still infiltrates the lives of people with the condition who can experience seizures triggered by flashing or flickering lights. This artwork incorporates the glutamate receptor protein involved in the transfer of neurological signals and a target for anti-epileptic drugs which may suppress this response. In this piece, Esther represents the light bulb filament as a 3D image of the glutamate receptor protein, highlighting its significance in fighting seizures triggered by light. That concludes our tour of the 2020 PDB Art Exhibition. We hope that this has given you an insight into the types of artwork created as part of the project. Each artwork in the virtual exhibition has an associated description, so please browse these at your leisure to find even more of these wonderful artistic interpretations of science and the PDB. If you would like any further information about the project, then please visit our website at pdbe.org slash art.